app icon badging has graduated from its origin trial. Hit testing for augmented reality is now available. Web NFC starts its origin trial. And I've got an update on the adjusted Chrome release schedule. I'm Pete LePage, working from my apartment here in New York City. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 81. We recently announced an adjusted release schedule for Chrome. We did this because it's important to ensure that Chrome continues to be stable, secure, and work reliably for anyone who depends on it. In short, Chrome 81 is rolling out now. We're going to skip Chrome 82 and move directly to Chrome 83, which will be released three weeks earlier than planned, approximately mid-May. We'll keep everyone informed of any changes to our schedule on our release blog, and we'll share additional details on the schedule in the Chromium Developers Group. You can also check our schedule page for specific dates for each milestone. There are a handful of native apps that let you see what a new couch or chair might look like in your home. With an update to the WebXR device API, it's now possible to do that on the web too. With the WebXR Hit Test API, you can place virtual objects into your camera's view of the real world. See the updates post for links to some sample apps from the Immersive Web Working Group, and to learn how you can use WebXR and hit testing in your app. App Icon Badging is graduating from origin trial to stable, which means that you can now use it on any site without a token. Badging of app icons makes it easy to subtly notify the user that there's new activity that might require their attention or to indicate a small amount of information, such as an unread count. It's more user-friendly than a notification. And because it doesn't interrupt the user, it can be updated with a much higher frequency. It's perfect for chat or email apps to indicate the number of unread messages. Social media apps could use it to indicate the number of times that a user has been tagged in other people's posts, or for games to indicate to a user that it's their turn. Check out my article on web.dev for full details. Web NFC is starting its origin trial in Chrome 81 and allows a web app to read and write NFC tags. This opens new use cases, including providing more details about museum exhibits, inventory management, reading information from a conference badge, and more. It's super easy to use. To read a tag, create a new instance of the NDEF Reader API and start the scan. Then, when an NFC tag is scanned, the reader will fire a red event that you can use to loop through the incoming messages. Francois has a great post that covers all the details, and it includes a number of common patterns that you might want to use. And there's a few more things. The Media Session API now supports tracking position state, so you can see where you are in a track and easily skip forwards or back. The Intel API now provides a display names method that gets the localized names of languages, currencies, and other commonly used names. No more having to do that yourself. And finally, we had planned to remove support for TLS 1.0 and 1.1, but we've postponed that until at least Chrome 83. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Be sure to check out the latest Chrome DevTools video to learn what's new in DevTools. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 83 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.